Hello and welcome to RA Plays 7 Billion Humans. This is episode 48. Uh, we just tried to solve the, the size challenge in the double sided destruction, but we didn't quite get there, so let's see what we can do with cubicle communication. Let's see. Um, each worker must pr print and shred five documents, but we have to be quiet. No two shredders may run at the same time. Okay, let's see. So we're yeah we're gonna run it one by one, and then yeah. Okay, let's see. We have size and we have speed. Um. So I guess if you time it right, you can you can do some synchronization somehow. So let's. I'm first gonna try the size challenge. Uh, let's see. So here we have a couple of jumps, right? This pattern means that we could do it like this. Um. Right, um, this is actually not needed, right? This, this set instruction, we can just say, hey, if this direction is not one. Um, let's see, oh, yeah. Okay, maybe it is needed. Um, uh, 4 yeah, it is needed, right? So we're, we're actually changing that. So we are listening for high. Um, we're setting mem 1 to 5. That, I guess, is not necessary, right? We can count up instead. So we can do this and then equal to 5. Let's see. Okay, so we need to cut two more commands. Um, let's see. Can we somehow cut this jump? Um, I mean, we could trade it for an else, but I'm not sure that's what we want. Can we... We also can't go... Uh, we can, right? We can say, hey, uh, we can do it like this. So we can change this around, put a jump in here, and do it like this. Okay. Uh, and I guess what I think... So should we be able to... Always. Basically, we have w these commands we always need. So, could we. We could take from particular positions if we did a step, right? So, then we can save this. We can take from below. We can give to this and then uh, step left. Okay, maybe this gets us the speed challenge as well, it would be nice. It is faster than... Is it faster? I guess it's not faster. Interesting. Um, okay, so... This means that we have the size challenge. Um, but this does give us a certain level of synchronity, right? <coughs> As in, this is very predictable. So if we can time it just right, then we can do something with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna see if we can... Uh, okay, I am gonna... Let me just copy this first and paste it and 
uh, see what what's going on because so let me check if this is faster than the other method let's see yeah so this one is faster for some reason okay that's that's fine um what we can do let's see so this is something we can we can change around right still that's that's not a problem in fact it's only good so let's do it like this <coughs> Yeah, and so if we do a little bit, let's let's check what's the um, the all time fastest for this. Yeah, it's 28 seconds, right? So that means that you can probably synchronize this. So I mean, what you could do, I guess you could just um, make sure that that they're all... Okay, so let's see. So let's say instead of this, we make it smaller equal uh, to 2. And this we're going to decrease by 2. So we're gonna do two at a time but then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say hey if um, mem4 is equal to uh, two no not mem2 two, two the, the constant two then we're gonna waste a little bit of time so we're gonna tell everyone okay Okay, that didn't work. Let's slow that down. Okay, so apparently these guys immediately took something. That's not what we wanted. Ah, uh, oh wait, what? Okay. So why do you fall through? Oh yeah, what we want is the other way around, right? So we want to... Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, there we go. Okay. So let's try... Let's see if we can, like, if we can do this. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be fine. Yeah, this seems fine. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, and that's the speed challenge. Nice. Ah, uh, it's a little bit, little bit cheaty, but uh, it works out. So that's nice. Let's continue. Uh, let's go for identify yourselves. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so it should be one, two, etc. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I guess what we can do is we can actually. Ah, okay. Let's let's see what we've got. Okay. So. Let's see. So a size challenge should be probably doable, right? If we manage to make, uh, let's just copy this over. We're doing a lot of the same things. We just need to make sure that. Um, yeah, so we can start by doing. So uh, what we actually could do is like a global announce system, right? That I think that makes a lot of sense. So basically, if you're if to the left is not nothing, so we we're just gonna run the same game as we did before. So then we listen to uh, go, or actually, 
Oh, yeah, okay, so the problem is that... Yeah, okay, I guess this works out, right? Because the, the person doing it is has a step below. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna write mem1. Uh, and then we can get rid of all of these. I think this should be fine. Okay, maybe not. Let's see, if to the left is not nothing, you listen for go. Oh yeah, else, then we wanna do this stuff. And we wanna do tell everyone go. <coughs> Hey, we need to cut two more commands for the size challenge. Um, okay, that's interesting. Um, two more commands. We can't, we can't get rid of this, right? Yeah, no. All cubes must be placed on the floor where they came from, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I guess this can't work because the counting makes it use too many commands, right? So, we can... We can actually, uh, what we can do is we can, we don't need to use memory, we just write one, we write, uh, hmm. we do a calc, I guess, of this plus one, and then we write mem1. Does that work out? Uh, it does not, uh, because we need the direction we need is this one. <laughs> okay, so that's... is that better? A little bit, I guess. Um, or actually, it's not better. Um, let's see, could we... Yeah, so uh, actually, what we could... Yeah, so now we can tell it directionally, right? So we can do this. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, so we should be able to cut one more command. We can't, we can't do something here right now. We can only write a constant or a memory location. Um, all cubes must be placed back on the floor where they came from. Can we do it without... Like we could do it without... Could we do it? I guess we could do... Yeah, we could do it. Without telling people, right? If we did it like this... Okay, that didn't quite work out. Uh, let's do it like this then. Yeah, this seems fine. Excellent, that's a size challenge. Okay, cool. Um, so for the speed challenge, what we're gonna do, I think, is... Uh, I. How is this not also the speed challenge? That seems... I would think this gets us to speed challenge, but that wants to be faster. So this is the fastest scenario we, or the fastest solution we've had so far. Um, let's see. So is there any way we could speed this up? Um. I 
I mean, you could, like, we could use an announce system, right? But does that make it faster? I don't think so, right? If we if we run this, um, yeah. So okay, yeah. So the the problem here is that we do the announce at the beginning, right? But what we could do is we could do it like up here. Okay, I guess we could not. We could do it up here. We also could not. I guess we could do uh, if we we needed to move this down there. Yeah, this is fine. But then we could. Uh, let's see. We could put this uh, over here. I guess. Uh, nope. Uh, because then we need to tell uh, this particular direction. Uh, no, I guess we'll do it here. Yeah, so I guess we'll do a counting announce system. Uh, let's see. So what we're gonna do is, if to left is nothing, uh, then you're immediately gonna do... Yeah, I guess you are gonna do uh, this, right? Um, then you're gonna tell everyone hi. Um, else, you're gonna uh, listen. So let's. Uh, this is actually not necessary, right? You're just gonna do this. Else, you're gonna listen for hi. Uh, you're gonna calc. Um, yeah, mem mem one plus one. You're gonna listen for hi, and uh, then you're gonna jump here. Okay, that didn't work out. I guess okay so the problem is let's so let's step down instead and pick up and write mem1 and we're gonna do this here okay yeah so the problem is that we yeah we actually don't need to do that see oh that's fairly close uh, it could be a little bit better, but it's it's, uh, it's better. Uh, let's see. Um, so, what about if we put the calculation over there? Then it doesn't work. Um, so we ne need to shave six more seconds. Let's see. So we can do this. No, we can't do it there. Um, like how could do we do this quicker? Ah, we could cheat, and we we know this guy. Uh, needs to um okay interesting so what we could be doing is um oh this is kind of tricky actually yes okay so what we could be doing is we say hey you have this scenario else you might have that this guy is empty um so we're gonna add like a, a case for that, right? So if this guy is empty, then you're gonna um, yeah, but we'll need we'll need to do this a little bit uh, less neat, but um, yeah, we'll we'll special case that that one. So if you're at the beginning, if there there's nothing, we'll do something special. 
else what you're gonna do is oh hmm okay yeah so we could do it symmetrically right we could just subtract yeah you could subtract whatever you have in memory from 11 ooh interesting I like this okay so this side is gonna tell high and this side is not so what we're gonna do is here we're gonna say hey we'll step uh, down we'll pick this thing up uh, we'll calc um, mem1 equal to or I guess mem2 equal to uh, 10 or 11 probably minus mem1 we're gonna write um, mem2 and we're gonna drop yeah there we go that's pretty awesome excellent I'm really happy with that that's that's a neat 19 seconds let's see how far that's away from the actual best six seconds okay never mind well I guess it's a world record so let's uh, not be uh, be sad about that I'm I am actually quite happy about it okay yeah um, let's cut this episode here thank you for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>